I guess we just walk this through. Yeah, so he's, we just seasoned the steaks. Um, this is a uh, 20 ounce um, cowboy to bone and ribeye. Um, uh, one of our more popular cuts, um, depending on the uh, temperature, you know, how long you want to cook it. We usually do like medium rare to rare, medium, medium well, well done on the right hand side of the grill. Um, and we don't, uh, we don't really use any, like, usually the grill is seasoned enough, and we don't need to put any oil. You know, we, in terms of the way we cook our steaks, we make sure they're all in seasoning, and I think they get a lot more individual treatment in general than um, you know, the certain amount of cheese on the hands. We have one, we have a couple of grill coats, and we grill all the steaks. You know, we don't grow peas here, um, although I do purchase from a lot of uh, products such as peas and stuff from um, Barrel Farm and Concord. Uh, I use them a lot as well. Um, a lot of our potatoes right now are from Barrel Farm. Um, we're getting carrots right now. So we're be about, and we always like to feature something from our own farm. Um, and uh, so it's always sort of a delicate balance. The steaks themselves, they're really nice quality products. Call it a cowboy steak, I think, because certain metal, you know, has certain um, rough, you know, sort of. I don't know, rough quality because I think that the uh, a ribeye is, is definitely a really popular cut. It has a, a fat roll right in here. Um, and a lot of people, when you purchase a steak like this, that's like part of the enjoyment is having, getting that fat in there, which creates a certain amount of tent, you know, there is a certain amount of sinew that runs along here that borders between the muscle and the fat. Yeah, it's real open. And a uh, sweet potato with um, mascarpone and uh, roasted chilies. Well, this is um, so. This is like I said, a 20 ounce ribeye. We call it a cowboy steak. Um, it's served with broccolini that's sautéed in a little roasted garlic, with a uh, sweet potato mash um, that has uh, mascarpone and uh, chilies. Um, we take a uh, jalapenos and a little bit of green pepper and cilantro. We roast the, the chilies um, to make a paste with it and then we fold a little bit of that in with the sweet potatoes um, with a little bit of lime juice as well. Um, so it's a little bit of an you know you know we try to keep the sides a mixture between um, really accessible but at the same time interesting but not sort of uh, covering up the natural flavor of the vegetable. Um, broccolini is a really uh, great product to use this time of year because um, it's grown in California. This is a really nice, I think, uh, interesting product to use. Um, so we really try to keep the sides um, that we have, you know, accessible, but, you know, give people a wide selection. We have um, a couple of different uh, vegetables, you know, we have mashed potatoes, we have baked potatoes. A lot of times when a restaurant tries to be jack of all trades, master of nothing, um, it really doesn't work out, but I think that um, what the Webbers have done here is, and they're Jed, Josh, and Kate, the owners, and uh, Stephen and Sarah, the owners of the, also the owners, is that, you know, there really is a tremendous variety here, but it all really works really well.